Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 14 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about run command which is inside notebook utility which is inside Databricks utilities. So, in our past videos, we have discussed about Databricks utilities and we have discussed about various uh, utilities available inside it. For example, we discussed about file system utilities. And in the last video, we discussed there is something called exit command which is part of uh, this uh, notebook utility. So, this video we are going to discuss about run command which is also part of the notebook utility. So, when you use this data db utilities dot notebook dot help command, that's where you can see the available utilities and from those from those available utilities or from those available commands, we are going to focus on this run command in this video. So, please watch the previous videos before coming watching this video so that you can make sense of it. Let's go to Databricks workspace. So, I have already opened my Databricks workspace here and here let me create a new notebook maybe and I am going to name this notebook as notebook 1 and I am attaching this demo cluster to it and let me hit this create button to create this notebook. So, I create a notebook here. So, in our past videos as I said we should use this db utilities that is nothing but the Databricks utilities and then when you use the help command that will give you all the available utilities inside this Databricks utilities. If you see there is something called credentials utility, data utility, file system utility, jobs utility. Similarly, there is something called notebook utility as well. So, if you want to know what and all the commands or functions available in this notebook utility. So, what you should do, you should do is notebook utilities dot, sorry, db utilities dot notebook dot help. And if I run this cell by hitting shift enter, then it is going to give you all the available commands inside this one. So, there is something called exit command and run command and we are going to focus on this run command in this video. And in the past video, we said about the exit command, right? What exit command will do? That will exit any notebook with the value whatever you pass. For example, let us assume I have a variable called first name and in which I have a value called shake. And then maybe here I am using this uh, exit function from the db utilities notebook utility. Then exit function to the exit function, I am passing this first name. Now, if I execute this cell, what will happen? The moment your execution comes to this line, it will exit the notebook execution by returning this value. So, what is the value you have inside this first name? You have value called shake. That's why it returned. And after this, even if you have any, uh, let's assume whatever the cells you have below this exit command, all those cells will not work. So, for example, here if you see second cell has a print world. If I execute only second cell, this will run. But if I execute all the cells by hitting this run all command, only this cell will run and this command or this cell is getting skipped, right? Th that is the functionality of the exit. It will, exit. it will exit the notebook completely by returning the value whatever you supplied to it. Now, let us assume I have another notebook here. Let me create a new notebook and this time I am going to name this notebook as notebook 2. And again, okay, this is also Python notebook and it is connected to the demo cluster. So, now what is the use of this notebook 2 is? Uh, and uh, sorry, what is the use of this run command is we can execute another notebook from this notebook. For example, here I have notebook 1 which has this code, first name and then exit function. So, I want to execute this notebook 1 from notebook 2. Will it possible? Yes. How it is possible? Using the run function. Let me show you this. Under db utilities, there is something called notebook utility and then and in to the help function, I am supplying run command because I want to know more details about this run command. So, when you do that, it will give you the complete documentation of the run command. If you see, this run command is going to take the path of the notebook and then you have to supply the timeout also. Like uh, within next 60 seconds, it has to run. If in the next 60 seconds, if this notebook, whatever I supply here is not executed, then it will give the timeout error, something like that. So, as I said, maybe I want to run notebook one from the notebook two. So, this is notebook two, right? So, from here, I want to execute this notebook one. So, first two, first variable or first parameter is going to be path and second variable is going to be timeout seconds. So, for example, if I mention 60, that means within the 60 seconds, this notebook one has to execute. If it will not execute, then it will give error actually, like timeout kind of error it will give. So, here we need to provide the notebook path actually. So, my notebook name is notebook one or you can provide the full path also. Let me go to workspace users under user under my name i have notebook one right hit this icon here and then get the copy file path and then immediately uh, you go to your notebook and in the notebook you can paste your path so now what will happen if i execute this command this is going to run this notebook one and within the 60 seconds if that notebook executed completely then no issue or else it will return the 
error and also if this notebook is exiting any value that value also will come back here let me practically show you this by hitting the shift run button so i am executing this notebook you can see the cell execution uh, started and this is going to execute this notebook one and if you remember notebook one is going to exit the notebook with the value shake here so the same thing you will see as output here so let's wait for this command execution to complete here great command executed successfully and you see the value whatever you are returning or you are exiting from the notebook one that came back to here so this value i can store it into any way some variable so maybe what i will do uh, i will create a variable called variable one and inside this variable one i am storing this value so whatever the line of code here we have after equals to symbol so that entire output that means shake will go and store into this variable one and then below to make sure that i am using a print statement to the print statement i am passing my variable one so now if i execute this cell you will see the same thing so it is going to execute the notebook one and shake will get written from there and that shake value will get stored into this variable one and then immediately we are printing the variable one so let's wait for the command execution to complete here great see it printed value shake so this is how it works so for example if this notebook execution takes uh, more than two minutes let's assume and here you have mentioned only 60 seconds so in that case what will happen up to 60 seconds it will try the execution within the 60 seconds if this notebook one didn't execute it then it will give you a timeout error so this this second parameter is to mention the timeout period actually so it's the same thing i have explained here so this run command is going to run a notebook and also it is going to return the values whatever the exit values coming from that notebook so i hope you got an idea about how the run command will work inside the notebook utility thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much